into some gay stuff since it's Pride Month. And let's talk about Matt Bomer, who apparently was supposed to play Superman once upon a time. So now, Matt Bomer is, as we know, one of the most successful out gay actors in Hollywood, but, you know, things weren't always that way. Now, you know, he got his start, like he, well, he's been acting for a long period of time. I remember seeing Matt Bomer. First of all, I don't think a lot of people know this, but Matt Bomer was in the pilot for the series Chuck. That was a show I loved. And I was like, who is that hot ass white man? Because he was good. And like, he was giving me like that whole super. He has the, the features of what we've come to believe Superman looks like. What is why a lot of times we look at the actors, they kind of choose them in that way. So he was actually, yeah, he was he was in Chuck. Then they killed his character off. And then that's when we got, you know, the cast that we got. But he was in the pilot. It's funny how I remember that. But he became big, he, he became a big star when he did White Collar, which I have heard the creative of White Collar say that they're rebooting the franchise because it's doing well on netflix it's found new life on netflix me personally i never got to i never got around to watching white collar i was watching um oh my god what was the name of that show that used to come on with the the medical concierge that was on that channel with um mark Feuerstein. that was a show i used to watch i can't never, i can't remember the name of it i'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me but um, I used to watch that show, and I used to watch a, a bunch of other stuff. And then White Collar was, um, not White Collar, um, Suits. That was another show that was popular at the time. But then White Collar, I remember hearing about it, but I can, I never really thought it was inter interesting for me to get into, so I never really got into it. So um, he became popular off of that. So this story actually circulated back in 2012. Jackie Collins, your famous novelist, may she rest in peace. I used to, my mother used to buy a lot of Jackie Collins books, all the Hollywood Wives, Lucky Santangelo series and stuff. And I remember when I was on, I because I used to act up a lot in school, I used to get in trouble. So I used to get grounded where I couldn't watch TV and stuff. So I used to read a lot of books. And after a while, you get tired of reading the encyclopedia from cover to cover. So I used to read a lot of books growing up. So I would read my father's sci-fi books like Dune and all this stuff, but I also used to read a lot of the Lucky Santangelo stuff. Or oh, like my mother would buy, you know, The Bitch and all those other books, like a lot of the Jackie Collins stuff. So I liked a lot of those soapy stuff. So I used to read them books too and shout them shits was juicy. But anyway, so she um wrote, so she mentioned this story back in the day that Matt Bomer did not get to play the role of Superman because he had gotten outed as a gay man. Some I remember, I think it was comicbook.com. Someone tried to refute this, the story to my, oh, it wasn't because he was gay. It's because he's too skinny. I'm like, first of all, that's bullshit because every actor that gets that signs on to play Superman ends up hitting the gym and bulking up. Henry Cavill did not start out looking the way he looks now when he first started out, um, you know, as an actor. I'm trying to remember what was the name. Uh, damn, I can't remember the name of it, but there was a show that he was on with Jonathan Rhys Myers. That was a show that I remember seeing Henry Cavill on. Henry Cavill was skinny. So was Brandon Routh. So was Tom Welling. So was Christopher Reeve. So was so many others before they came on and bulked up for the parts. Even, even you know, this corn sweat actor that is about to play Superman. They've been showing his progress of when he hit the gym and bulked up. So nobody start, so they all don't start out looking like Dwayne the Rock damn Johnson. So miss me with that story. I didn't believe that. So anyway, so he did an interview with Awards Chatter Podcast hosted by Scott Feinberg. He's 46, by the way. In the episode, Boomer recalled his grueling audition process for Superman Flyby, which is a live-action film about the DC superhero and was supposed to be directed by J.J. Abrams, which never came to light, while Boomer was still working on the CBS soap Guiding Light. They said He said, I went on a cattle call for Superman, which turned into a one-month audition experience where I was auditioning again and again and again. On God of Light, there was a killer in town, so the executive producer, very kindly, wanted to free me up just in case the Superman job came through. So the God of Light producer said, hey, you're going to be the killer. We're writing you off the show. Go with my blessing. So I basically got fired, but in a generous way. <laughs> now, while his, this decision freed up time for Bowman to fully 
invest in Superman flyby, things quickly went south for the actor, saying it looked like I was the director's choice for the role. They said, he said, I signed a three-picture deal at Warner Brothers. Now, it says, when as the Bowman's coming out story heard his chances of being in a Superman film playing the titular superhero, the actor replied, yeah, that's my understanding. That um, that was a time in the industry when something like that could still really be weaponized against you. How and why and who out of me, I don't know. And, you know, his husband is Simon Hall, so who's like a high-profile agent in Hollywood, so I don't think Simon would have did it. And so they said Abrams' uh, Superman flyer was never actually made or released, as previously mentioned. Still, Boomer was apparently the front runner to play the titular character in the film, but was dropped as an option after being outed as gay way before the project as a whole fell through. Now, following the scrapping of Flyby, Superman's revival on the big screen ended up becoming 2006's Superman Returns, directed by Overlegge director, and pretty much isn't he blacklisted, Brian Singer? And Brandon Routh uh, played the Kryptonian hero. And me personally, I'm going to have to say that I totally can see. Like when they said Matt Bomer was going to play Superman, I'm like, I see it. He definitely has what it takes to play Superman. I mean, he's a good looking man. Child. First of all, that fellow travelers that he was in. Ooh, child. Now, when I tell you them sex scenes was hot. <laughs> they were scorching hot. And I could definitely see him playing the character. And look, um, it shouldn't, like, in my opinion, I feel like it shouldn't matter that gay actors are playing these roles. Matt Bomer has played heterosexual roles. He has played homosexual roles. He is someone who can convincingly play both. So I don't know why people make it a big deal. They think that in 2024, even though this happened eons ago, back when they, they said when they did Superman Returns, Back then, yeah, it was not easy coming up and just being an openly gay actor in Hollywood and getting those roles. We just talked about it recently, how, you know, um, the actor from Glee was talking about how he was told to stay in the closet. Otherwise, he wouldn't get parts and all this other stuff. Look, now he's done, read, I think he wrote his 25th book. So now he don't even need acting. He's making enough money now as a book author, writing children's books or young adult novels, I should say. Which I think would actually be really cool if they developed his young adult novels. I mean, I don't know. I've never read any of them. If they're good enough that they could turn, develop them into a show for Disney or the Amazon channel or whatever the case is. But it's a, a shame. Like I feel like we've come a long way in regards of that. But it's a shame that this is still a thing that people like to hold over your head that, oh, you got to stay in the closet. You can't come out and say anything. Otherwise, you're going to lose your job. So... Shout out to you, Matt, Matty Bo, or Matt Bomer. I was trying to find a cool way to say it. <laughs> that was a fail. But it was just like, you know what? I like Matt Bomer. I like a lot of the work that he does. He is like, I won't say one of my favorite actors, but whenever he shows up in something, I definitely give it a gander. Like, I like a lot of, especially if it's a gay, you know, a gay film. And he is very successful. It could be also because of who he's married to. But, I mean, that helps. But at the same time, you know, he has worked his ass off to become the, the the legitimate serious actor that he is. And I do hope that, you know what, with us hearing that story, that in the future, we will get some openly gay characters. Actually, I think there's going to be some openly gay characters in one of the upcoming shows that, or movies that, um, oh my God, what's his name? that um the DCU and all of them are developing, that they have, like, gay superheroes and stuff that is a part of an ensemble cast. I can't remember the name of the, the Superman group, I mean, the superhero group off the top of my head because I don't have... I can't remember all the movies that they have in the works with the DCU. So, but I do hear that there are, like, some, some gay characters or whatever. And here's the thing. What people need to realize about gay people, not every gay character is into drag, does the nails, all this stuff. There are gay men who are not effeminate or are effeminate and 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 do are into sports or into a lot of the things that are considered masculine or whatever so including superheroes like a lot of gay people like superheroes and I, we need that representation so even though he would have been playing heterosexual or heterosexual <laughs> even though he would have been playing heterosexual um 
me personally, I wouldn't have had a problem with it. And I don't think many people had a problem with it either because not everybody knows that Matt Bomer is gay. Now that we even know, unless you're really into his business like that or you follow Hollywood the way that we be talking about it on this show. But anyway, let me wrap this story up to say I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of this story down below. Would you have loved to have seen Matt Bomer as Superman or... Um, who would you like to see as a future Superman? I mean, we already got David Corn Sweat, so that's what we're going to deal with for how many movies that da James Gunn has coming up the pike. But in my opinion, I would have loved to have seen Matt Bomer play Superman back in the day. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. His career, he's turned out fine. He's still, you know, a working actor, and he's still doing his thing. So he's not hurting, but that's a role that unfortunately got away. But maybe it might be a good thing, because a lot of times when people play these type of superheroes, Right. Especially Superman, <clears throat> they have a hard they have a hard time trying to get out of being typecast in that way. So you not getting the job, the universe did you a favor because look at Matt Bomer now. Like he's been able to just be a chameleon and do so many other different things. I feel like if he would have did Superman, he probably would have been typecast like so many. Like I said, like so many other um, actors do that play these iconic superheroes. It's like, look, when you look at Henry Cavill, his career hasn't really been, you know, he's acting, but his career has not been able to kind of have like this, these, this up peak since playing, you know, the Man of Steel. So let me know what you guys think of this story down below.